on with some folding books, and that is the blank folding books, like the ones that you'll see all the way around you. I had no idea where it would lead. I gave some out to some friends of mine in Hong Kong when I bought the books, and in Australia where we went on for a while after that, artists I'd known for quite a few years, and I came back to Wales and gave the rest to Welsh artists. Our first actual exhibition opened in the National Library of Wales in Aberystwyth in 2012. It caused quite a stir amongst people that saw it, and everybody thought it was really worth continuing with. So, um, actually, it was Phil Nicholl uh, from Bay Art who asked if I might be interested in showing it next. So then it went to Bay Art, and that was in 2013. Soon after that, we were invited to take it to Australia, and at the same time, one of my friends in Hong Kong told me that there was somebody he knew in Hangzhou in China who was interested in maybe having that exhibition go to China. So what happened next was that we went to Hangzhou, and that's where I first met Zhou Zhu and Professor Chen, who is here and will be talking to you fairly soon. And, um, that was the beginning of a collaboration. From then on, they and their artists, which included some of the best known contemporary artists in China, we, we felt we'd really fallen on our feet, um, took it to Australia, to Canberra, to Brisbane, and then together we arranged to have it in Hong Kong. And from Hong Kong, we took on their books and our books to Canada to the National Library and Archives in Canada, and from Canada it came back here and then went on to India. And it's not only me that takes it. In Canada it was Maggie James over there who took it, and another of our artists, Valerie Coffin Price. In India it was Richard Cox who is over there, and Sue Hunt who is next to him. They took it to Jaipur, and in every country we go to, we ask new artists to join us. And I think that's one of the things that makes it as popular as it is. People sort of feel that they become involved with it. It's an administrative nightmare, but it's worth it. Um, and our exhibition from Bay Art, which is a kind of parallel exhibition, exhibition with this one, is going to go to Hangzhou in November. And that's going to be really exciting because four of us will be going with it. And so the conti it continually rolls on and spreads out and we have new ideas. So I don't think, I think it's going to be going after I'm dead and gone, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I would like to next invite Professor Chen to give a few words from his point of view. Uh, Professor Chen. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Very happy to see that today the exhibition can be returned to Wales. I was on the 4th of July last year and I was very excited to return to Wales. This feeling, I really have to see some of the fresh works. Join this exhibition in Barry, especially one of the pieces is from my students. I think he's one of the younger ones in this uh, uh, artist group, and some uh, fresh works also from Barry. And this makes the whole project uh, really meaningful. And that's what I have to say. And thank you. Enjoy the show. Uh, it's been a pleasure for you to be invited to demonstrate the magical experience of Chinese brushstroke and ink art. 那么在中国绘画里面，它有不可缺少的四样东西。there are four essential things you need to do a Chinese painting. Yeah, what we call the four um, treasures in the study. 笔, 
the brush, more, the ink, ah, uh, so the paper, yeah, yeah, and the grinder. 那么关于纸呢？关于这个纸啊，是在中国法律最重要的一个东西。A paper is one of the most important、uh, material we use in the Chinese printing. 这是一张承载了中华文明两千年历史的一张纸。Which has over two thousand years history. 早知道人类文明从结绳记事，到这个在甲骨上面镌刻，把这些文字记。记载在上面，到了，到了中国，到发展到后面，又在竹简上面，用毛笔把字写上去，来记录当时发生的事情。那么也就是这个时候，毛笔跟墨先于纸张已经出现了。And the brush itself has a longer history because you know before we have paper we we written on. Bamboo strips and, and bones, animal bones, which you know you know about the oracle、uh, characters from the very ancient age. 然后发展到人类开始用绢，就是这种丝织品来记事。Then the next era is the use of the silk scroll, as actually before we use paper. 但大家都知道这个很昂贵。Which is really expensive. So, not many can afford that. So, you know, we rate it as being worth four to five. 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 Four It has to be wrong. Third, it is to be wrong. When you press it down, it has to be clean cut. Fourth, it is to be clean cut. It has to be clean cut. And the, the last one is to be elastic. Then it is to be clean cut. 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 And then, if you talk about techniques and make inks, it will, will be a very, very long talk. It is mainly, mainly, everybody knows, just to burn the wax off. After a long burning, 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 after a Uh, the parcel from the smoke. You cut them, mix them with the oil, and, and some, sometimes with the glues, and make the best、uh, ink stick you can. That from the artist's point of view, actually, it's not related to us. We need to know its advantages. The advantage is very easy. It's really convenient. The advantage is that it's not as good as the ink stick. But、uh, the effect is not as good as the ink stick. That from the other side is the ink. The ink is quite simple. And this is a simple part, the grinding stone. It is used to make a thin, thin stone. It is made from very fine textured stone. But here, it has to solve a problem. When I use the wax, it must be fast. It must be able to make the water fast. And the, the key is when you grind the, the ink,、uh, ink stick with water, it has to be quick so that the pigment can get into the water very quickly. And it has to be fine. The two the 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 Well, the the definition I give for Chinese calligraphy is is using certain lines and、uh, abstract、uh, abstractness of this certain equation.
this is uh, the Chinese character long in Zhuan um, script. Zhuan script is the Chinese character long in Zhuan script. Zhuan script is the Chinese character long in Zhuan script. Zhuan script is the Chinese character long in Zhuan script. Zhuan script is the Chinese character long in Zhuan script. Zhuan script is one of the oldest uh, uh, script in China and it's very decorated. Because as you know, uh, once it's on, word, uh, on paper, it cannot be changed, so it needs days of practice of the control of brush. And This is the running script as we call Xing Shu in Chinese. It's the fast version of Kai Shu. This is also the The cursive uh, script, as you know, uh, as we call it in China, 草书, 草 means grass, cursive. 